What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Thursday morning episode of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me on Twitter. After a day off, we are back. We bet yesterday, but Saturday and U.S. Open bets. We had Cam Smith coming in the top 10. You can jump on that if you would like. That bet from yesterday and then a couple of college baseball bets. I'll remind you about that on Friday's podcast because it does not start till Saturday for the game we have bet, the teams we have bet. But we are running out of time for you to be able to order omahasteaks.com for your dad, uncle, grandfather, whomever you'd like it with enough time to get it there on Father's Day. Okay, so this is important. If you want to take advantage of this, if you have made money, we won 30 units in the NHL and the NBA, how we keep this podcast free every morning, every single morning, video on YouTube for betting pros, audio wherever you get your audio podcasts, how we keep it free is by you guys supporting our sponsors. So, omahasteaks.com in the search bar. Type in juice. When you do that, it unlocks a 60% savings on the Father's Day grill package. Dad's favorites available right now. But you got to get to it now. This is the day, Sunday, Father's Day, Sunday, okay? Don't tell me that nobody reminded you that Father's Day is Sunday. Father's Day is Sunday. OmahaSteaks.com. Search bar up top. Juice unlocks that 60% savings. And you guys will get a ton of food plus eight free Omaha Steak burgers for using that code JUICE. Under $100 for a ton of food for Father's Day. Go check it out right now. OmahaSteaks.com. Keyword JUICE. Up in the search bar, bam, unlocks that great offer from OmahaSteaks.com on Father's Day. Okay, so U.S. Open starts today. One more U.S. Open bet to add. I hope you guys can, one, find this, and two, I hope you guys can get this early enough to be able to bet this. I'm going to post this in the Discord channel for those of you who would like to bet it. It's the only other four-round bet I'm going to have for the U.S. Open, but... Golf fans, you guys are trying to help me out. I appreciate this a lot. Somebody told me to go look for the four-round U.S. Open Jordan Spieth against Justin Thomas. This is on DraftKings. It's also here in Vegas where you can get it at the Westgate, okay? I got it from minus 140. I couldn't find this on DraftKings, but maybe I wasn't looking hard enough because I found it at the Westgate, so I didn't really care. It's supposedly minus 130, but we'll officially play it at minus 140. A little juicy, a little heavy, but it's a four-round, four-day bet. So I'm a little comfortable laying it because it's a four-round bet. But Jordan Spieth came in fourth and 29th at the majors this year, and a lot of people are picking Jordan Spieth to win this thing coming up this week for the U.S. Open. Justin Thomas has missed the cut and finished 65th. Spieth is coming off of a fifth-place finish at the Thomas MC at Mirfield. Thomas has not played well. Things have not been going well at all. The rough could kill Justin Thomas with his inaccuracies. His iron play has not been good. We're going to take a four round head to head of Jordan Spieth over Justin Thomas for 1.4 units. All right. 1.4 units. Take Jordan Spieth. Some people, again, are picking him to win the thing outright. If he does that, we'll win this, obviously. But Spieth over Thomas, four-round bet at minus 140, 1. 1.4 units down to win. One unit coming back for the U.S. Open. All right, so just two bets. Cam Smith to come in top 10. No dead heat rules, by the way. Make sure you're watching for that. Head-to-head four-rounder, Spieth over Thomas, minus 140, although supposedly DraftKings has it at minus 130. You can get it better. I played it at 140 here in Vegas at the Superbook. So maybe if the Superbook is live in your state, you can go find it there as well. All right, to baseball. Two baseball bets going here today. Let's talk about the Rockies and the Braves. It is Kyle Freeland Day. Kyle Freeland on the road has been very good. It's been very good recently. Unders have been coming in consistently. Rockies on the road. They lost to the Red Sox 6-3 to yesterday. On the road, a little bit of a higher ERA than what you would expect from Kyle Freeland. He actually has a better home ERA than road ERA. 4.81 on the road, 3.19 at home. But that's because recent history hasn't been great on the road for him. On the road at Arizona, 5-1 loss. Gave up five earned runs. 
in six, sorry, in five and two thirds worth of work. But then the next game after that against Kansas City, two earned runs in seven innings. He's lost three straight starts, but five one, two nothing, and three to two. All low scoring games. Now the Braves are one of the best home teams to overs on the year. Okay. Like 10 games over 500 at home to the over. But the Rockies are one of the worst road teams to the under or to the over, I should say, in baseball. And the Braves are going to trot out a guy who the Rockies haven't seen before. A.J. Smith Sauber. I think it's how you say his name. Sauber. A.J. Smith Sauber. 20-year-old right-hander from Fort Worth, Texas. He's pitched in two games so far, one time in relief and one start. Relief against the Diamondbacks, two and a third, no earned runs. Start against the Washington Nationals back on the 9th of June. He won the game, got got the win, three to two, went five and a third, just two runs given up, zero of them earned. Only three hits given up. These Rocky hitters haven't seen this guy. You need Kyle Friedling not to get hammered here. The Braves scored 10 runs last night. They won 10 to seven against the Tigers. I'm going to bet the under. Minus 120, under nine, Braves and the Colorado Rockies. Let's hope the under team prevails with, you know, kind of ships going in different directions. Braves are an over team at home. Rockies are an under team on the road. Let's hope the pitching holds up. Under nine, minus 120, 1.2 units down on this. Second bet, third bet for the pod. Second bet, Angels and the Rangers. Otani against Avaldi. Oh, it's an underplay, right? Bet the under, right? Can't do it. Even though the knee jerk is to jump in on Shohei Otani, his numbers are actually a little bit deceiving at the moment as to the way he's pitched on the road. Otani has a 4.22 ERA on the road. He's two and one. Opposing batting average is still just point one point uh, or sorry, one ninety opposing batting average. But he's given up seven home runs on the road. Seven home runs. That's a lot of home runs to be given up for a starting pitcher of his caliber for Shohei Otani this early in the season. So I think Otani's going to get hit here. And Otani, if you look at his recent games and how he has pitched, how the games have gone, this is kind of wild. 5-4-6-2-8-5-4-2-9-5. I mean, that's... You, you don't normally, sorry about my computer. You, you don't normally see a guy like Otani having that type of scores. So last five games, final score, 9-5-4-2-8-5-6-2-5-4. The total for this game is eight. Of all these pitching for the Rangers. But the Rangers offense has been really good. And they score a lot of runs at home. Of all the, look, he's 9-2 and two with a 2.49 ERA. I'll give you that. But even Ovaldi Hasn't been outstanding. He gave up four earned runs in his last start against Tampa Bay Rays on the road. Now, two starts before that, he went six and five. No earned runs in either one of those starts. One complete game against the Pirates. Nine innings, only one earned run given up. I mean, he's been tremendous. Don't get me wrong. And at home, you would think he has a great ERA. He doesn't. At home, it's a 3.38 ERA. On the road, Evaldi has a 1.98 ERA. So, you have a pitcher at home with a slightly elevated ERA and a pitcher on the road with a slightly elevated ERA and the total is eight. I, I, I mean, this is someone of like, I had to almost like do like a double check on this. I was like, wait, is this really going to be, that's right. It's, it's, it's eight. Yeah. It's, it's eight over is minus minus one fifteen. We're going to bet the over eight angels, Rangers over eight minus one fifteen one point one five units down on this, and if you look at the way these teams have scored against each other so far this season, I mean, last two games, nine, oh, three games, nine, six, seven, three, six, three. Okay. Every game has gone over eight. I'm just going to follow the trend here. And even with Otani pitching, over eight, minus 115. Angels, Rangers tonight, total eight go over for 1.15 units. All right. So three bets for us here US Open and baseball. We're going under nine Braves and the Colorado Rockies at minus 120. We're going over eight Angels and the Rangers here, minus 115. 
Jordan Spieth over Justin Thomas. That is a minus 140 bet for all four rounds of the U.S. Open, which starts in Los Angeles coming up here today. Hopefully that later start time on the West Coast gives you guys on the East Coast some time to make that bet. Minus 130, supposedly at DraftKings. I got it at the Westgate, minus 140. 1.4 units down on that. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt every single morning. It is the Daily Juice Podcast being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com.